Yes. Good morning. So let's continue our chapter money and credit. Now today we will discuss regarding the. So let's discuss regarding characteristics. Characteristics of a currency, money. Characteristics of money. Characteristics of money. First, acceptability. 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 So anything which can be as a use as a money, as long as it generally across the country for buying the goods in economy it can be as a possible with the use of a money possible with the use of money in a modern economy money has played as a important role it, to which as a, any of a commodity it can be as a buy any commodity goods and services they can as a buy so there are the different denominations of a money are used in our present economy it is only as a worth rupees 100 in a spending the power because everyone accepts it as the such our present economy in our present economy money is a token money token form as a piece of paper it is worth much less than the face value printed upon it the currency notes and coins are a money to they are legal tender money issued by the government issued by the centralized bank rbi on the instructions on the behalf of the central bank second as a money it should be as a durable durability <coughs> durability so money it should be as a make on a basis of a such kind of a metal such kind of a material money must be as a durable not likely to the deteriorate in a shorter tenure of time which can be as a function for a longer duration of time in economy that's why money it should be as a durable in nature third portable portability 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 money it should be easy to carry from one place towards other it must be as a light in weight from the point of a view paper money is far better than the metal coins as compared to the metal coins paper money is better as compared to the coins next is a divisibility money it should be as a divisible which has work on a function of a divisibility 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 it must be possible to provide the money of a large value into the smaller values to make the smaller purchases or to give the change without losing its value paper money and coins they accomplish this task very well in which the smaller denominations towards the larger denominations are used for a purchasing which has giving as a purchasing part to the consumers through which they can satisfying their needs so money it should be as a divisibility in earlier in a barter system it was as a not possible for a purchasing of a different type of a commodities goods and a services goods and services to as a barter system such problem it has sorted out to the divisibility sorry to the money which divisible the different number of goods and services as per the necessities in a economy as per the production in economy money work on a basis of a scarcity 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 
So that kind of a material, it should be as a use for a manufacturing, for a making of a money, which is as a scarce in nature. For example, pebbles on a beach could not, pebbles on beach, it could not be as a use as some money simply because anyone, it can be as a use it. Anyone, it can be pick them up. Only if a money is a scarce, people will value it as a commodity that can be used in exchange. So for which as from longer historical background, money is basically made on a basis of a such material which has present in economy is a, which has present in economy in a lesser in number. Lesser in number. Next characteristic of a money is a cognizability. Cognizability. So money, it must be easy to recognize and familiar to the most people. Most people. People, it should be as easier recognized as the money, which has used within as a territorial boundaries of a country. Clear? The role of a money in a modern economies is a very important, which play important role in an economic growth of a country. The money renders the invaluable economic service without which the development of modern industrialized societies would hardly be possible. It influences the, and facilitates money, influences and facilitates all economic activities in the field of consumption, production, exchange, distribution, and public finance. Money encourages the specialization by making the trade easier and so enables an economy to increase the level of national income and allow people to enjoy a much higher standard of living. In turn, the more an economy specializes, the more money is needed to finance an increasing account of trade. In modern economy, money is used. It is as basically used to increase production in economy through investments. Money is needed by the consumers, firms, and the government to make payments to buy up the output for the economy. The banking system provide this money and make it easier to make payments. As the output grows and more trade takes place, so the banking system, it must develop and create the more money. Bank has function on the basis of a deposits deposited by the depositors. On such basis, bank earns as the income. There are the two functions, two roles of a bank, which are function in our society, in our economy, our economy, in bank. Depositors, depositors, they deposit as a money in a form of a demand deposits in a form of a savings. They deposits the money in a bank in the form of a savings. For such savings, banks given as a interest to the interest to the depositors. Interest to depositors. And the amount of a money which is deposited by the depositors in a bank, used by a bank to lending the money to the borrowers lending a money to the borrowers means credit facilities loans provided by the bank on behalf of those deposits which are deposited by the depositors in a form of a savings for such number of a credit bank collected as the interest from borrowers bank collected as the interest from borrowers. So the difference of interest which has collected from a borrower 
and given to the depositors that is known as the bank income bank income for example on savings bank has given as a 2 percentage of interest rate to their depositors to their depositors and bank has collected as a 10 percent interest rate on their credit that credit which has given to the borrowers so the difference of interest rate 10 percent collected from the borrowers 2 percent which has given to the depositors that 8 percentage of interest rate which has earned which has collected by the 8 percentage of interest rate margin getting by the bank is the income of bank such amount of money used by bank to complete their expenses which has used by the banks to complete their expenses in economy so with the help of a money consumer can easily they equalize the marginal utilities of different commodities and services to derive the maximum satisfaction with his limited resources money has enabled producers to select combinations of input factors for the production of commodities in such a way as to yield the maximum profits through economy maximum profits to economy the introduction of money has removed all hurdles and has enhanced the national and international commerce it has encouraged foreign investments and promoted the international monetary cooperation for which in our country there are three types of the money are there currency notes coins and demand deposits currency notes coins and demand deposits the modern forms of money which includes as a currency notes coins demand deposits demand deposits earlier when the barter system finished and the currency introduced money introduced at this stage the precious metals these were used for a making of a currency the modern currency is not made of the precious metals such as the gold silver and copper these are basically made on a basis of a paper for a issuing of a currency there is a the centralized bank is responsible the most important part of the money supply is the paper currency which is and responsibility of the which is the responsibility of the central government as well as the central bank of india rbi reserve bank of india the central bank in present scenario which has enjoys the monopoly of issuing the notes although in a certain countries like as india the central government also issues notes along with the central bank for this as they are hiring as agencies known for the availability of a currency notes in a smaller denominations smaller denominations or coins to the larger denominations by the reserve bank of india the central bank reserve bank of india is given the monopoly of issuing the currency in order to secure control over the volume of currency and credit these notes circulate throughout the country as under the legal framework of money it has to keep a reserve in the form of gold and foreign securities as per the situations it may be noted that the rbi issues the all currency notes in india from rupees 2 to the 2000 again it is as the uh, under directions of a central government as behalf of the central government 
RBI issues the all currency notes. Clear? So tell there any questions? Any questions? Next are the functions of RBI. Functions of RBI. RBI known for the issuing of bank rate. The rate of interest set by the RBI on such behalf, all the banks, they are lending their money to their borrowers and collected as the interest. Bank rate is the rate of interest set by RBI on such behalf, all the banks which are registered under RBI, they are lending their money, given their money to their borrowers and collected as a interest rate. Clear? Second, RBI responsible for the cash reserve ratio. RBI responsible for cash reserve ratio, CRR, the 20 percentage of a total assets of each and every, each and every bank, these are procured in RBI as securities. Those banks which are registered under the RBI, they have to give the 20 percentage of their total assets as a securities to RBI, which can use by Reserve Bank of India to return money in a state of a bank failure. If the bankrupt occur, if the bank fail, uh, fail to manage as their finances, under such circumstances, RBI will use us those assets of a, that particular bank to return the money to their consumers, return money to their depositors. That's why as a CRR maintained by the RBI. Next, it issue as a issue currency. RBI responsible for issuing of a currency notes. RBI responsible for issuing of currency notes on behalf of a central government. As per the instructions and demand of a finance ministry, central government, RBI starts to issue as a currency notes or change as a older currency with the newer currency. This is as a responsibility of a RBI. RBI provide as a credit to the state governments and central governments. State governments and central governments, credit facilities. When government's expenditure, when the central government's expenditure, it exceeds with the government revenue and government is unable to reduce its expenditure, then the RBI borrows the loans to, it has given as a loan to the state governments and the central government. This is as the RBI, RBI through which as the state governments and central government, they borrow, they can borrow a loan, they borrow credit from RBI to completing their expenditures. Government, it can reduce as a number of the expenditure through which they are providing the public facilities. Public facilities. So for such, they starts to hire as a funds from a Reserve Bank of India. Clear? This is done by the selling of the security bills to the RBI, which creates the new currency notes for the purpose of a country. This is called as a monetization of a budget deficit or deficit budget when government complete their extra expenditure as compared to the revenue by borrowing a loans to the RBI. Next function, RBI supervises, RBI supervises the functioning of uh, those banks which are registered under it. As according to this, oh, RBI instructed, RBI instructed all those banks which are registered under the RBI that they are, they are bound to provide two percentage of the credit facilities, two percentage of credit facilities for poor and marginalized farmers. 
poor and marginalized farmers this is as a responsibility of a each and every bank which are registered under rbi out of their total credit facilities or so loan facilities two percentage of a loans it should be it is it should be as a mandatory to provide to small and marginalized farmers rbi the reserve bank of india supervises the functioning of the commercial banks it control the banks actually maintain the cash reserve and advance loans to the small cultivators small scattered producers industrialists small borrowers and not only to the profit for welfare clear so tell there any questions any questions in present scenario in today's world the bank customers they frequently deposit as a coins and paper money with the banks for safe keeping just as in former times they deposit the gold such as the gold such as <clears throat> they deposited as the gold such a depo, uh, such a deposit is recorded as a credit to the customer's account a customer who wishes to pay a debt which come to the bank and claim the money in currency and then pay the money to other persons who may themselves redeposit the money in a bank as a gold transfers this is a tedious procedure it is as a more convenient to have the bank transfer the claims to money on deposits in modern economy there are two ways are used through which as a funds are transferred in between of a banks when the commercial banks lost the right to issue the notes of their own they starts to form of a bank money which changed but the substance did not in a present scenario banks have the money in their deposits which can be as a withdrawal by the depositors at any of a working day the bank deposits are a money it's just like as a pass when the banks it can create as a money by issuing as a more promises to pay then they have cash reserves available to pay out clear so in modern economy checks and demand drafts are widely used for a transfer of funds in between of a banks check is a paper instructing to the bank to pay a specific amount to the person in whose name the check has been issued check has been issued under the check bank uh, the account payee has instructing to a bank to transfer the funds from their account towards the others account in a present banking system there are the banks are create the credit to the two of the sources by advancing the loans to the people and by purchasing of the securities a bank deposit is created entirely by the banking system every advance made by the bank creates a corresponding deposits clear and second as a bank it buys as the securities and pays the seller with its own check which again is used for a generation of a cash the check is deposited in a some bank and a deposit secured as a credit is created for the seller of the securities this is the credit creation when a bank discounts a bill bank discounts a bill of ex exchange it starts to given as a money and amount is paid in cash instead of the consumer's account is credited with the amount 
So this is creating as the credit. So every time that a bank acquires an earning assets, whether by advances or investments, investments in a form of a credit in the name of the person or institutions from whom the assets has been acquired. Clear? Next as the loan activity, in a present economy, loan activity has function on a behalf of a terms of credit. There are a four terms of credit are there. Mode of repayment, collateral, rate of interest and documentation. These four terms are used by the banks when they lending a money to their borrowers. Lending their money to their borrowers. So first as a collateral, means securities collateral means securities collateral means securities securities are are those guarantees to which bank it can recover their money in that state when a person when a consumer when a borrower refuse to repay the amount of loan to the bank clear when a person fail or refuse to return the amount of loan on timely repay to the bank under such circumstances, the collateral can sell by the bank for recover their amount of loan. So for the repayment of a loan for which as the collateral are very important. Collateral are used for recovery of a loan by the bank. Second as documentation, which means as a proofs associated with the associated with the person which is living in a locality and file as an application for a borrowing a loan from a bank for which as a documentations are required. Third, as a mode of the repayment, mode of repayment is the feasible to as the banking system in which the people they are depositing they are repaying their amount of loan in a monthly quarterly or a half yearly basis i mean the emi installments in present society people they borrowed the loans and to as per their convenient conditions they are returning the amount of loan with interest rate to the emis and fourth term of credit is the rate of interest on the behalf of the rate of interest set by the RBI, all the banks, they are given as the loans to their consumers. Loans to their consumers. So these are the four terms of conditions, terms of credit through which a person, borrower, they can borrow the loans from a bank. First is the rate of interest. Second is a collateral. Third is the mode of repayment. And fourth is our documentation. Clear? So this much for today. That's why we will continue in our next.